Module 4, Lesson 1 Homework. A meteorologist set up rain gauges at various locations around a city and recorded the rainfall amounts in the table below. Use the data to, in the table to create a line plot using 1 8 inches. So they told us we need to use 1 8 inches and we're going to be making a rain plot. Or not a rain plot, a line plot of rainfall. Now, what I like to do first is look in the data table this is the data table, and see what our smallest amount of inches is and our largest so that we can kind of uh, have an idea of how, where we want to start on our line plot for numbering and where we want to end. So looking down the line, the smallest I see would be 1 eighth, we have two 1 eighths, and the largest is, this is the only one above one, one and one fourth. So our line plot's gonna range from somewhere like zero to one and one fourth or one and one half. So I'm gonna start at zero. Now one and one fourth, that is equal to one and two eighths. So since our um, line plot, they said that we need to make it using one eighth inches, I'm gonna go up to one and two eighths since that is our largest. So we have zero, one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths. This will be one or eight eighths, one and one eighth, one and two eighths, one and three eighths. And I can stop there. So now what I need to do is plot everything. What I notice here is that everything is in fourths or eighths. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to convert anything that isn't already in eighths into eighths. So like three fourths, to make that into eighths, four times two is eight, so three times two, this would be six eighths. This is the same, so that's six eighths. One fourth. 4 times 2 is 8, so 1 times 2 is 2 eighths. Here's another 1 fourth, so that's 2 eighths. And so, good, now we have everything in eighths. So I'm going to start plotting now. So location 1 is 1 eighth. So I'm going to put an X right above 1 eighth. Location 2 is 3 eighths. So I'm going to put an X above 3 eighths. Location 3 is 6 eighths. So an x above 6 eighths. 4 is also 6 eighths, so I'm going to put another x right on top so that I know we have two different 6 eighths measurements. 5, location 5 is 2 eighths. Location 6 is 1 and 2 eighths. Location 7 is 1 eighth. Location 8 is 2 eighths. Location 9 is 1, and location 10 is 1 eighth. Okay, we have our line plot finished. Now, let's make sure we should have 10 different plots. So I'm going to count to make sure I have 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so I plotted everything. Now it wants to know which location received the most rainfall. So in other words, which location had the largest amount of rain? That would be the highest number, which is one and two eighths. So we need to look in our chart and see who had one and two eighths. That was location six. Which location received the least rainfall? So the least would be the smallest amounts. So that would be these three right here under 1 eighth. So those three, which location received the least rainfall? That's 1 eighth. So location one is 1 eighth. But there are two others. So location seven and location 10. 
So those three places all tied for having the least rainfall. And C, which rainfall measurement is the most frequent? So this is saying which happens the most often. So that would be the amount of rainfall that has the most X's above the amount. And that is, once again, one eighth, because there are three different locations that had one eighth. And two eighths only had two, six eighths had two, and the rest just had one. So the rainfall measurement that was the most frequent would be one eighth of an inch. And what is the total rainfall in inches? So for this, what we're going to need to do is add everything together. So I'm going to start with just looking at the chart here. So we have one eighth and we have three of them. So that's going to be three eighths. So I added the one eighth, one eighth, one eighth, and this made three eighths. In two eighths, we have two groups of two eighths. So that is four eighths. And then we just have one three eighths, so plus three eighths. Plus, we have two groups of six eighths, so that would be 12 eighths, which is one and four eighths. Plus, we just have one group of one, plus one and two eighths, because there's only one, and two, one group of one and two eighths. Now let's add all of these together. So let's see. 3 eighths plus 4 eighths is 7 eighths. 7 eighths plus 3 eighths equals 10 eighths. Now we need to add the 1 and 4 eighths, which would get us 1 and 14 eighths. So we've done all those. Now we just need to add 1. So 1 plus 1 and 14 eighths is equal to 2 and 14 eighths. Done with that. Plus 1 and 2 eighths gets us 3 and 16 eighths. Now the only thing wrong with this is that we have 16 eighths as a mixed number, but 16 eighths, 16 divided by 8, that is equal to 2. So we have 3 plus 2 equals 5 inches. So the total amount of rainfall was 5 inches.